I'm going to try to make this real quick. This right here is what I call my own little wrist lock aid. It is nothing more than a bottle of salad dressing. I'm going to cover up the brand because I'm not being paid to advertise it. It's just a bottle of salad dressing with some duct tape. The salad dressing emptied out. Put some water in it and some duct tape around the end. This is to help you get the feel of doing a wrist lock because a lot of times the problem with when you're learning how to do wrist locks is that it's not like doing a punch or a kick. That's something you can practice over and over and over again on your own until you get a feel for it. You can't really practice wrist locks on people over and over and over again. And if you practice wrist locks on the air, you don't really get a feel for what's going on. You can use your imagination, but you don't get that tactile work, that, that skin touch work. So what you can do is you can take a salad dressing bottle, empty it out, pour water in it, tape in with duct tape, real smooth. Now, I can hold this here. If you notice, look at my wrist and look at the salad dressing bottle. They're both basically elongated triangles. See? This is my this is my hand. This is my hand. Wrist. Wrist. See that? So I can hold this salad dressing bottle in my hand. Okay? So that in addition to practicing wrist locks on yourself, so I'm using my right hand here to practice a wrist lock on myself to get a feel for what it's like on a person. This way, down. Okay, you can practice wrist locks on yourself to warm up your wrist for exercises. I can take this bottle, hold it out, reach out here, get the twisting action. Get the twisting and pushing action. I would wrist lock, pretend that somebody's grabbing my wrist here. Okay, hold here, come up, inward wrist lock. Hold it here, inward wrist lock, outward wrist lock. And if I want to practice getting some resistance, squeeze here, reach around here, twist, twist, and push. I can have another person hold it for me. They can hold it for me, and I do the same thing. Now, I like to tell people when they're learning how to do wrist locks, do this. Touch your thumb and your pinky together. Because some people cannot get their brains to communicate with their thumb and their pinky at the same time. And it's almost as if they have to build the muscles up in their thumb and their pinky. Maybe they do. So that's something you can rep with, with this little wrist device here. Pinky down here, thumb up here, push. Just practice doing it like this. Just so you can get the coordination. And then add this finger. Okay? I would add this finger last, actually. Add in your other fingers to get a feel for it. Okay? Twist, push, just to build the cognitive motion. Okay? Now, one flaw in using this technique that I've seen people do is they practice on this and they don't try to figure that I'm practicing on a wrist lock. Then they'll grab somebody's wrist and they'll just twist it like this. They'll just twist it. They'll just twist to the side. Instead of getting a twist, push, twist, push. Even down here, still twist, push, twist, push. They only go in two directions with their wrist lock instead of three directions. Okay. Also, some people want to use it as a wrist strength training device, and it's not meant to be a wrist stress, a wrist strength training device. It's meant to build coordination. So, one guy I showed it to, it's got a death grip on it, and just uh, push it until you see how I'm bending it, until he bent it all up. I was like, yeah. No, it's not for that. It's for coordination. Coordination, practicing the technique, practicing the technique on someone other than yourself, when you don't have a person who can practice for a slot with you. So, Again, you can take a salad bottle that's triangular shape. Sorry, salad dressing bottle that's triangular shape. Fill it with water. Tape it on in with duct tape, and voila! 
you've got yourself a wrist lock aid. Try it out. Let me know what you think.